Hey everyone. Well, it's the morning of the day before Greenfields. Um, and yes, I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> my stomach's doing backflips. Um, just from the anticipation and the excitement. Uh, I've not done any packing yet. Uh, I've got everything that I need. It's just all in the front room ready to be packed. But this is sort of something that happens to me. Um, with some with events like this. Um, for the last few days I've wanted to pack but I've sort of like been rendered still I've not been able to do anything um, it, it happens to me every year <laughs> I don't know why I just can't sort of like um, get my ass into gear until the very last days um, and today basically it's the last day before I need to have everything packed and ready to go tomorrow. Um, the gates open at lunchtime tomorrow, so um, I'm going to try and get there hopefully for, for around like 12 or 1, something like that. But yeah, um, <laughs> I have to force myself today to get things done, so I'm not running around like a twat tomorrow. Um, which, fingers crossed, I can do it today. Um, I mean, there has been past years that I've been like up about four o'clock in the morning packing all my stuff ready <laughs> on the day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's a mental illness or what, um, but it's just a build up, it always is. Um, just stops me right up until the last moment before I do stuff to get ready. Um, it does my head in, it really does. Um, it's the same as a packing. Um, uh, <laughs> OCD takes over. You know, pack everything up and then I'm like, oh God, I've packed that. So I unpack it again. Oh yeah, I've packed that. So pack it all up. Oh, no. And it's, it's like five, six times. <laughs> but this time I've had an idea of um, writing everything down as I put it in. So then I could just check the list and go, yeah, I've put that in, I've put that in. Instead of having to unpack it all the time. Um, you know, it's, it's the things you have to do when you've got mental illness. Um, I mean, I, I think some of it this, this time, because I am feeling more anxious than, than what I have done in past years. Um, and I think that is due to my experience, um, that I had last year, um, when I had someone get beaten up. Um, that's been playing on my mind. It, just the, the flashback of that incident keeps coming back. Um, I'm trying to calm myself down and say it's not going to happen this year because I'm not even going to be in the same campsite. Um, I'm, I'm actually going into the disability campsite this year, so I know I'm going to be safe and protected. And, and you know, there's not kickoffs in there because, you know, sort of like the Sunday night, Monday morning, um, you get the idiots that want to burn the tents and things like that in, in some of the, the campsites. And I, I think I was in one of the, the campsites last year that, that that was all happening in. Um, and I did not enjoy that experience on the last night. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> that has been playing on my mind. Um, you know, and this is this is what happens when you go through something traumatic. Um, it can affect you days, months, weeks, years after. Um, and it's just trying to put yourself back into a mindset that, that things are fine. That it's not happening to you. Um, it's not going to happen to you. Um, and trying not to make it affect the experience. Um, but yeah, it's definitely having a bit of an impact. Um, I mean, I, I will get everything ready. And, you know, I, I know I will. I'll get it all ready before I go. And there is no need to panic and things like that. But yeah, it seems to be... It just renders me immobile, you know. Um, there's so many things that I want to do today to get the, or I have been wanting to do over the last few days to get ready. And my head's just like, been, no, no, I'm not going to cope with it. I'm not going to do it. Just, just sit and watch telly. <laughs> and that's all I've been doing or listening to some music. Um, trying to keep my head calm. 
Um, but now, you know, today, I, I have to get things done today. Because um, I really don't want to be running around tomorrow morning like an idiot, packing everything up. I do want it all ready just so I can phone the taxi, you know, because I'm getting a taxi to the bus station this time instead of a bus. So I usually get the bus from St Helens to Warrington, which is like about 45 minutes drive, something like that. But it's a pain in the ass dragging all my stuff up the road and then in, onto a bus and then off the bus and then onto the shuttle bus to Daresbury. So um, I'm going to get a taxi to um, the bus station in Warrington. Apparently it's going to be only be about £20. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a lot easier for me anyway. Um, I've got to think in my back this year. Um, very much so. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to be doing a big long walk like um, last year down to the campsites because the um, disability campsite is, is right at the top um, at the entrance, the first entrance where all, all the main gates are um, into Creamfield so um, it's going to be a lot easier for me this year um, but yeah I'm 47 I've got to put these things into perspective now you know I'm not a spring chicken anymore um, I have a lot of damage on my back and I have to be careful now um, so yeah, it, it will be a lot easier and I know it's going to be a lot more safer where I am, so I shouldn't have to panic about that, but you know, when, when these things happen, you can't really help them, it, even though you know, <laughs> you know, the science behind it, you know, you, you, you can think sensibly about things, but you still think irrationally, and it's, oh, it can be just so debilitating. Um, you know, at the worst point, points where you, where you don't want it to be. Um, and you have to push yourself. And today I am going to have to push myself. So fingers crossed, I should get everything set up and ready for tomorrow to go. Just go. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for, for all your comments and everything. And I will get back to you. Um, like I say, my head's up my ass a little bit at the moment. Just with the anticipation of Greenfield. So I'm not really sort of like talkative to a lot of people. Um, even my close friends and family, you know, they're not getting big conversations out of me, unfortunately. It's just sort of like, uh, I could only cope on, uh, concentrate on, on what I'm trying to do at the moment, which is get myself set up to go to Greenfields, get that over and done with, and then I can calm down. <laughs> I know I'm going to have an amazing time while I'm there, like, you know, and it, it is my, my yearly therapy session to myself. Um, it's, <laughs> it's sort of like a... Um, it's a big thing for me, um, but it just proves to myself that I can do things on my own and, and, and have a good time while I'm doing things, you know, and it's not all everybody's out to get me and stuff, you know, um, even though, like I say, the incident last year, it wasn't anything to do with me, it was just, I heard someone get beaten up, um, in one of the tents not far away from me and yeah, it was just a very traumatic experience for me because it, it triggered my own experiences of, growing up being beaten up, you know, um, yeah, so, fingers crossed, <laughs> I should be okay, um, I know once I'm there and dancing away to the music, it, it's gonna be fine, um, but I just gotta keep telling myself up until that point, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, until I know that it is fine, <laughs> um, self-reassurance, definitely, <clears throat> but unfortunately, when you've got mental health issues, you have to do things like this, you know, um, I, it's the same as, I know there's a lot of people, um, especially the girls, that are worrying about what they're going to look like, you know, because um, we're all different sizes, and I know there's a lot of big girls that go there, and they, they do get paranoid, um, obviously, because they get, you know, bullied, at, you know, from so many different aspects of their life and things, or through their lives, and um, they get told they look ugly and things like that, you know, because they've got a bit of weight on them and stuff like that, so they get a bit paranoid of what they're going to look like. Um, but you know, it's, when it's, when it's Creamfield, you know, it, it's all about the music. It's not about, it's never been about what you look like. It's always been about the music and the atmosphere of, of being with like-minded people. Obviously you get the knobs, you, you do, but they they generally tend to be the narcissists, the toxic people. And their sort of like opinions really don't need to be listened to at all. Um, so yeah, you know. I'm the same though, you know, I've been told a lot when I was growing up that, you know, got bullied um, about what I looked like, so I looked like a boy. 
Um, always used to wear boys' clothes with short hair and, you know, um, I used to get called fat, you know, because I was, I was overweight, but, you know, and that was from the family as well. But, you know, they didn't do, do anything to help me to lose the weight, but, um, you know, they used to complain that I was fat. But, you know, double-edged sword there as well. Um, you know, they were my family, they were supposed to help me, but no, they just picked on me instead. <laughs> but that, that's, that's what the family's like, you know. I used to get called fatty and all sorts, like, you know, but no, they, they wouldn't step up and help me lose the weight or figure out what my problems were, um, or help me figure out what my problems were, you know, it was eat your dinner, cows, and you eat all of it before you could leave the table, so, you know, it was, um, it was one of those situations, um, but yeah, anyway, going off of that, <laughs> Um, I'm looking forward to, to this, very much so. Um, like I said, it's my yearly therapy session to myself. Um, it's sort of like, like, it's my proof that I can do things by myself and have a good time. And, and um, you know, even though it's only uh, in Daresby, which isn't too far from me, it, it's still a big thing for me to, you know, spend a few days away with a load of people that I don't know <laughs> in the middle of a field somewhere dancing away. But that does help actually because nobody knows me you know I, I can dress what I look you know dress how I like um, dance how I like and I don't care because nobody does know me I mean I suppose there, there will be a couple of people that know me there because I've, I'm meeting up with a couple of people that I met there last year you know through the Creamfields um, social Facebook page you know Facebook group um, a lovely couple Tina and Dave they're down from Stoke-on-Trent um, and they're coming up on, on Friday so you know, but for at least a day, nobody knows who I am. But yeah, they did, they don't mind what I look like. They, they don't mind how I dance. You know, they're very down to earth. They're my age as well, or around my age. Um, you know, old ravers. So, yeah, we've got the spirit of the old raving. <laughs> we know what it's about, and they don't care. Um, they don't care what I look like and how I dance. And yeah, you know, we we just share the love and have a good time. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it very much. So. Um, and I'm coming home Monday. Um, I like I say, I'm going to be worse for wear. Um, I'm going to need sleep um, at least for a couple of days, I think. A couple of days recovery. And then um, I'm actually going fishing on the 2nd, I think. 2nd of September. So hopefully um, <laughs> I should be back up and running for them. I'm looking forward to that too. Anyway, um, I've waffled on for a good few minutes now. Um, Thank you for bearing with me. Um, like I say, I shall be get, getting back to doing videos after all this is, is finished and I've recovered. Um, I do feel myself sort of like getting better, but with this cream fields coming up, it, it sort of like knocked me back as well. You know, it's strange. Um, I have good days and bad days. Um, but yeah, I, I really can't determine when these days are going to be so. Um, I am very grateful that you are all being patient with me and, you know, you, you're still, I, I, st I get a notification coming up saying that somebody's commented, but I'm not actually going and reading the comments. Um, I'm just closing down the notification, so I'm not actually knowing what you're saying, but I do know that you are replying to my, com uh, to, to videos. So I am very sorry that I'm not replying to your comments, but I will do when I get back. Um, but thank you very much for bearing with me and, and sticking with me on this. Um. Um, I shall say it's, uh, I shall say goodbye now and, and try and get on with some packing today. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, everyone.